Hey guys, how's it going today? This is Captain Energy. Today we're going to continue on our First Steps adventure. If you're new to Reason, you're not going to want to miss this. Today, we're going to talk about how to export your song for playback on different streaming services to, to distribute to your friends, or also how to export loops from your song so that your friends might be able to use them in their own remixes, and finally, I'm going to show you how to export stems from your completed project so that if you have a remix that you want done based on what you've already done yourself, you'll be able to export all of the instruments that you have so that a person who's not using Reason could easily import them into their DAW and be able to work with your content. I hope that you guys will find this useful. If you think it's useful, don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. Okay? So here we go. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. So here we are in Reason. And I've already put together a small track. This is a small sample track I've been working on for you guys. It's a little uh, kind of Egyptian sounding techno thing I've been working on. All right. First, what we're going to do is I'm going to explain what these markers mean here. Okay. This is your playhead. This is just kind of where you're at in on the project. Uh, you've got left and you've got right here. And you've also got this E, which is end. Left and right tell you where a loop starts and where a loop ends. You can move these anywhere. I could put them right here if I want to do and have just a little teeny loop or a smaller loop, whatever I want to do. Um, end is where the song ends. Now, normally this is at about bar 178, 180. I brought it in already, pulled it in closer so we could see it. You'll notice that before the E, we have bar markers for all the different bars as we're going along. And if I move this over, you'll see more get added. If I move it back, they disappear. That's because after the end right here, the end, that is the end. You know, nothing happens after the end, essentially. Um, now, why would we have this end mark after the right side? Isn't the right the end of the song? Well, no, technically it's not. Because what happens is after the song plays, there's sometimes, I'm going to show you right here, there's sometimes a little bit of a... Do you hear that echo? The bell ringing off into the distance and the, uh, the synthesizer sound as it faded out. That's called a tail. And so if anyone ever says, oh, we need to, you know, clip the tails off this or we're trying to capture the tail, that's what they mean. It's that little bit at the end that occurs when the song ends. Nothing just stops ever in life. I mean, usually, I mean, when you talk, that sound bounces off of things and it comes back and gets you in the ear, in, in the ear and, uh, and it you know, bounces around off other objects and you may not hear, but it's still bouncing around for a few seconds after you finish talking. Or maybe fractions of a second, but you get the idea. So by putting the end after the song, like eight bars or, or you know, right around there, basically, you, uh, you give it a little bit of, I don't know, breathing room. Because the last bar here is 16. There's 18. It's right here and 19, 20. Okay, so we've got a little bit of space after that. This will uh, basically just make sure that when I dump this out as a song, it doesn't just die. It will let it breathe at the end. Now, let me show you how that works. If I hit File, and then I go down to Export Song as Audio File. And now I tell my computer that the name of this file is Full Song. I'm going to leave it as MP3. You can pick WAV or AIFF if you want. It's your call. But I'm just going to leave it as MP3. And I'm going to hit Save now. See, take two seconds to export that. There it is. If I go look at that folder where I just saved that file, let's go over here. It's going to be right here. And there it is, full song. I'm going to open up Audacity so we can take a look at this file. Let's drop this right here. And there's full song. Now, see at the end here, this little bit? This is the actual song. This is what you produced right here. But this is the tail. Without that little bit, this song would just die at the end. It basically... 
go like that and it would just sound terrible. So you definitely want to have that little bit of breadth if you're exporting this for uh, distribution of any kind. Okay. And that right there is how you get your export of a stereo track to distribute out of, uh, out of Reason. Now, the second export that you might want to do, go back over to Reason, is a loop. Why would you want to export a loop? Maybe you want to create a loop library for yourself or a friend to sell something, and you're just, you know, at home doing some production stuff, and you're thinking, I want to make this loop and hand it off to, you know, my friend John, and John's going to take it and make a song out of it. Well, that's fine. But how do you get that out so that it's just a perfect loop? You move your left and right bars here to where you want to loop. Okay, so right now, if I hit this, I moved one here to five, one to seven. Loop is turned on right here. You can see by this arrow, this recycle arrow kind of thing. I'm going to press one on my numeric keypad and space bar. Here we go. Ready? Pretty good. That's a loop. But now how do we get that out as a WAV file? I just hit file and then we go over here to export loop as audio file. I tell it, I'm going to go with a WAV file this time. I'm going to call it loop WAV and I'm going to hit save. And it asks, do I want 16 bit 44 kilohertz? Yes. I turn off dither and now we go back to Audacity into the folder where we just saved it. And there's my file, loop wave. Let's bring this in here. Now you'll notice that this loops perfectly and can be used over and over again if you were to use it in a project, just the way it is right now. It can be very useful in your productions to be able to export loops easily like that. The last thing you might want to be able to do, now that would give you a way to export your whole, you know, bits and pieces of your song as little loops. Maybe you want to bring them into an Akai MPC or something and um, do some live show stuff with it. Uh, the final thing would be the, if you wanted to export stems. Now, what stems are essentially is they are individual tracks of each line or each instrument or voice in your track. So if I had a three-piece band, I have a violin player, a drum player, and, uh, and a uh, bass player. I could export the bass, the violin, and the drums on their own individual audio tracks. They wouldn't be mixed yet. You could listen to them, each instrument, without the other instruments getting in your way. You could use these bits to do remixes. You could use these bits to do mashups, or you could just use them to build instruments with and, and do more creative things with them. I mean, any kind of creative sampling is possible uh, with content generated this way. So let's show you how that works. First, what you want to do is you want to be sure that your left and right bars are marked like they were before. Um, now, the reason I'm doing that is because you can, you have the option to export this as a loop, or you have the option to export these as a song from beginning to end. I'm actually going to use the song export, okay, because I feel like it gives you uh, a little more, a little more to work with, and, and why not have everything, you know? Why not have it all? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to file, and I'm going to bounce mixer channels, okay? Now, you can see that I have a Twilight Techno Hip Hop Captain Black and Electri or sorry, Electric Flute here. Those are my five instruments. So if I go Twilight Techno Kit, Captain Black. Here we go. Okay. So now I've got all of my sounds mapped here. Now I look to the right and I say, what do I want to do? Do I want to apply my, my EQ or my sound effects? I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. That's all channel settings are applied. All exported audio will be in stereo. So any effects I have turned on are going to come along with this. Maybe you want to go dry. Um, that's your call. There's, there are options. You can do what you want there. Now I can tell, do I want to do from song start to end? 
So that would be to the E from the left. Okay. Or do I want to go loop and just tell it to pick out a smaller piece? I can take this and mark my, you know, my right and left any way I want. Right now it's marked to exactly the length of the music. I'm going to do it with song start and end. And then I'm going to go and make sure it says audio file on disk. If I do new track in song, it's going to take all these tracks, make them into audio, render them on tracks down here on audio tracks, and then mute all these channels. I just want these out to my hard drive. So I'm going to click OK now. Okay. And it says, you know, we don't want to put this. I'm going to go right here, drive E, make a new folder. Stems 2021.05. Boom. Okay, go right in here. And now, you'll notice this little bar coming up because that's a little more work to do than the usual imports we've been doing here, or exports we've been doing. Here's Audacity again. And now I'm going to go over to my File Explorer. We're going to go to Drive E, and there's Stems 2021.05. And now, if I grab these different bits, I'm going to grab them all as one here, and drag them and drop them into Audacity. Look at that. That's everything. That's everything we had. If I go here and... That's it. So now I've got individual exported stems with all my instruments that I can then distribute to my friends uh, or fans or whatever who might want to remix my material. If you have any questions about this more than what I've explained, please hit me up in the comments. But basically this will allow you the three ways you could possibly need to export your audio to people who are not using Reason. You could export your song as a full stereo file, you could export loops, or you could export stems. And stems will allow you to provide another user the ability to remix your content. And that's basically the whole thing. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe to the channel so you'll know about future videos when they come out. Don't forget to ring the bell. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next video.